I'm an investigator for natural materials in the construction sector, um, working in the uh, division between uh, architecture and engineering. In my view is that uh, it would be nice to have uh, our natural resources blended into our daily practices and seeing where we could use them um, in construction in more effective ways, both saving costs and also uh, going about it in a sustainable manner. But alongside of that, I believe sustainable issues are inherently multidisciplinary and they require attention from all sides, from all disciplines, to be actually addressed adequately. For instance, uh, land economy is an example, uh, Department of Geography, they had some interactions. Also places like you wouldn't expect, like Faculty of Education or even the Botanic Gardens with whom we did an ex um, a project together. So we looked at the structural properties of bamboo we did um, testing for them in labs, um, four-point bending tests and other things. All of that uh, feeds into the idea of providing um, building guidelines that the industry could take on and then use for their bamboo-related uh, design work. So until uh, architects and civil engineers know what sort of values they have to design for, it is very hard for them to actually make a case for using sustainable materials in construction. So to address the challenge uh, of transitional housing after the uh, typhoon in the Philippines, two of my colleagues went about in uh, actually developing a bamboo manual for construction where you could easily use the local resources of bamboo which have been um, unearthed by the winds and other things to uh, feed into quick transitional houses that can be built by the community themselves. And this has now been taken up by NGOs internationally as a uh, guideline for exactly those purposes where a disaster hit a community, there's uh, an abundance of bamboo materials and they can now apply them uh, and sort of come up with very quick solutions for transitional housing. As part of our NGO work, we also connected with the Global Network for Sustainable Housing, which is a consortium of uh, UN Habitat, Habitat for Humanity, um, and it's uh, the British Red Cross is involved as well. And it's this uh, group that is trying to strive for more sustainable housing practices internationally. And uh, I found this a fascinating field because it uh, marries two disciplines, both the architectural research as well as the applied you know, world practices. And I feel like uh, conservation practices here are a crucial element uh, because it's uh, going about these methods sustainably that will make all the difference.